Um, so it's only been the last decade where we've recognized the unique migration experiences and subsequent settlement program supports that are required for refugee youth and young adults. The innovation and promising practices emerging across Canada are truly encouraging. Overseas, we had a breakthrough year last year with Canadian orientation abroad, providing a target of, sorry, with the Canadian orientation abroad target of providing pre-departure orientation to 2,600 youth over a two-year period beginning in 2015. Our understanding and knowledge of the need for targeted, specialized program supports is growing. Amongst many program innovations for youth and young adults taking place, whether it's in Halifax, Calgary, Regina, Winnipeg, Hamilton, or our colleagues in Metro Vancouver, including Mosaic and Success. I'd like to share insights of one program we've operated for over 10 years now. As you listen, I'd encourage you to think about what could be transferable within your own organizations. For the last decade, we've run a program called My Circle. It was named by a group of refugee and immigrant youth, and it's a leadership training program that has graduated over 600 youth during that time. The program in its current iteration has both beginner and advanced curriculum, ensuring a continuum of training supports are provided to interested youth. As new needs have emerged, we've also worked to identify other supports. So this year, um, at the request of some of our, some of the young women that we provide services to, we have a specific curriculum for um, immigrant youth and young adult women. The beginning training is over 80, is 80 hours over either 12 Saturdays or three weeks during the summer. It includes modules on a variety of topics, including self-awareness, migration, settlement, belonging, identity, cross-cultural leadership skills, and anti-oppression. The programming uses innovative and interactive activities and methodologies, including art, theater, teaching graphic facilitation, the MySicle trainings are facilitated by past youth graduates as contracted peer facilitators. And this is important because one of the challenges that our youth face when they come to Canada is the lack of not only Canadian experience, but work experience. So by hiring graduates, we actually provide a paid work opportunity in Canada. The facilitators work under the guidance of a youth worker. When we run the programming, we create a safe space for 20 to 24 newcomer youth to explore together their unique challenges and come up with solutions, empowering themselves to increase their confidence, self-awareness, and to take leadership roles in the communities. Graduates go on to create um, support groups in their schools, in their communities, to work with projects of their own creation, partnering within the schools or community. The advanced training uses the same structure and method, but it's shorter. It's 60 hours, um, usually over Saturdays, but again, in recognition of things like summer holidays and spring break, we do occasionally offer it in a condensed form. It delves deeper into subjects that are not often discussed among immigrant and newcomer youth, including de decolonialization. We intentionally seek to build relationships across Indigenous, immigrant, and refugee communities. We talk about gender and culture, sexual diversity, awareness, and intersectionality, sexual health and healthy relationships from the perspective of immigrant and refugee youth, advocacy and connections. The curriculum for each exists, but in every group, what's discussed depends on what the needs are within the cohort that's in there. And the group works to update the curriculum to ensure that when they walk away, they walk away with the materials that speak to them and to their needs. Peer facilitators are highly trained and supported by youth workers to effectively explore these topics. What has been so inspiring to ISSBC is the fact that through the intensity of bringing newcomer youth and young adults from different countries, Together, we've discovered there's many shared experiences. These youth have gone on to key leadership roles in every area of civil society, providing hope and support to their peers. Last year, for example, members of the action team, which started as a group of My Circle graduates, 
and worked within the community on a number of campaigns, formed Pave the Road BC, which is Canada's first immigrant and refugee youth-led nonprofit association. Lastly, I want to share a work in progress. Many of you may be aware that ISSA BC is in constructing a social purpose facility of $24.5 million, a 58,000 square foot building for refugees, importantly, with and without legal status, as well as immigrants. When the facility is completed next May, it'll redefine a new international model for the integration of refugees. Under one roof, refugees and immigrants will have access to transitional housing, a primary health care clinic, trauma treatment programs, settlement, employment and community connection services, English as an additional language classrooms, conversation circles, banking services, government offices, including CIC, Service Canada, Ministry of Social Development, a food bank, a law clinic, and much more. But key to today's discussions is we're creating a permanent resource and support group for immigrant and refugee and newcomer youth. It's a 725 square foot room that is being designed by immigrant and refugee youth. Um, it's a space, it'll be facilitated by a youth worker, so we'll have a youth worker on staff. And while most of our services are often provided um, in the office during the week and on weekends, um, often Saturdays in community spaces, we're looking at how do we do staffing over the weekends, giving people days off during the week. It's a space for people to hang out, meet peers, seek targeted individual and group supports, especially during their first few months in Canada. The space is being designed by youth and young adults. It will be available to those who are actually staying at our Welcome House facility seven days a week, 24 hours a day, as well as to people in the community while the offices are open. We're excited, and we're excited to support the youth in building a new future in Canada and to play any role we can in doing that. Thank you for your time.